So I'm just going to run through uh, Nihan Shodan Kata. Just watch, okay? Um, and then we're going to um, kind of work through it together and take some, some movements from it that we're going to work through, okay? So Nihan Shodan. Okay, so why did I do it fast? Because I believe that you should have an objective, particularly with this kata, of treating it almost like a single movement from start to finish. Um, I think it's actually almost better not to think about this as a kata, but more as a, um, a movement drill. Yeah. In the same way that I think also Sanshin kata, although Sanshin became called a kata, Sanshin for the Gojuru people is really the most fundamental kind of way of building the structure of what you do, right? The structure builder. It gives you all the, the essential foundational pieces that you then build on later on with all of the other variations in all of the other kata, right? That's, that's the way that Gojuru is described typically by traditional Gojuru um, practitioners. Everything is Sanchin, they'll say. What they mean by that is like Sanchin is like the universal base piece that everything else kind of comes from and extends from. And Nihanshi Shodan is not, some Shorin Ru practitioners will talk about it that way, not all of them. Um, but Nihanshi Shodan certainly shares that characteristic with Sanchin Kata, I believe, which it is, it's kind of a fundamental base piece. You almost want to get to the stage where you can without. You just, just boom, you do that set of movements. It becomes like a, just a, a pattern that you build into you, right? So short enough to do that, pretty much anybody. Um, and if you do that, then what you have is kind of set sequence of movements is extremely flexible, extremely um, <clears throat> customizable, right? A Swiss army knife. So, yeah, you can, you can go in so many different ways with it by just slightly changing and taking from using an angle, et cetera, et cetera. It's like the base piece, right? So, so we're gonna do just a little bit of kata practice, just to get into the swing of it. We're gonna do it slow, a couple of times, and then we're gonna do it fast. And it's not a measure of how well you can do it fast. It's just kind of get used to the idea of doing it fast. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. You are gonna feel how it feels. But anyway, we're gonna do it slow to start with. So, my hand show down and cut up. Um, you could eat him as that. Oh, camera. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, sorry, yeah, I see ya. I thought, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, sunny, sunny in the high high. Okay, okay. Move, so that Pokemon, yeah, okay, sure, sure. Okay, so um, here we go. So my hand's show down. Hi. Uh, Shige, can you come? Come inside. Hi, take it aside. Come inside. Okay, good. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Okay, okay. So we'll count through this one, yeah? Yoi. Itch. Ni. Sam. She. Go. Rock. Sit. Hatch. Hey. Cube. Cube. Pitch. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Go. Rock. Hey. It's right. Good. 
。OK。でもうちょっと真ん中に切って。はい。もう一つ真ん中に切って。はい。チョリさんどうぞ、あっちでいいですよ。もう一回ゆっくり、ゆっくり行きますから。ね。はい。はい。マンショーダン。はい。よーい。そう。少しだけ今、膝少し曲げますね。エネルギーを貯めて、動く,ま、動くの準備。エッチしあの、引き手しっかり引いて。ねえ。今ね、商談に。三。四。五。六。8、8、9、7、6、5、4、3、2、1、0。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。ゴーオッケー右を出して、左を胸の前に持ちます。はい、なおれ。はい、気をつけ。OK、はい、ラックス。OK。OK。一本前に来てくださいね。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、OK。今ね、じあ、違う、もう一つ。<笑>あ今自、自分の自由なペースで。OK。So, um, don't worry, 調理、僕を真似していいですか。OK。So now, 今後は自分のペースで。僕、はじめから。So now we're going to run it at our own pace, OK? want you to go, try and go fast, OK? Try and go fast, try and get the feeling of doing this fast. All right? So I'll just call はじめ。はい、気をつけ。よい。はじめ Um, training my hand chi fast is actually something that is, you're best going to do in your own time, right? In your jishu renshu, your own practice time. So, uh, no, yeah, fast my hand chi no renshu, my hand chi san shodan renshu wa, ma ni dan san dan de mo areba, and then jibun no jishu renshu chikan de yata ho is. Okay, so let's just take a couple of movements from、um, my hand chi shodan and、um, Uh, work them slow and then just work them a little bit speed, okay? So, so one of the first movements is that we, we extend the hand, yeah? So, in the kata, we proceed that with a kosa movement, yeah? And then extend the hand, right?、Um, so, we're just going to work, we're going to work extending the hand, yeah? Doing this quick movement, right?、Um, And on top of that, we do this one, yeah, and then we put the elbow in, right? And we do this from a, a square stance, yeah, a square stance. So let's just work the,、uh, this kind of backhand movement. Actually, in the Matsubashi Ryu、uh, movement, it's a haito. We actually have the palm up. In、uh, Shotokan, and、uh, in fact, if you look at Motobu Choki, who was famous for doing、uh, this kata, He, he tends to show pictures where he's got his palm sideways. Matsubashiru's Nagamina Shoshin liked it this way. Neither one is probably wrong. So, you know, you can choose which one you use. Okay. One of the advantages, though, of using this one like this is that you can kind of blind and、um, smother. 
somebody's inspired in somebody's face and um, their vision. So, uh, so what we're going to do is just work a, a simple drill. Okay, um, we're going to start from square stance. Not just my Okay, and Shinobuko San is going to step forward with left hand to strike to my center. Okay, left hand to strike. Yeah, so he's going to step forward, left hand to my center. Okay. Uh, left, right. Actually, no, we'll do it right hand, sorry. So, Migite de, yeah, so right coming in like this, yeah? Okay. Height, right. And for safety, punch to my chest. I mean, obviously, usually the right's going to come into the face. Okay. My first movement's going to be just cover, cover here. Yeah? And then, as, then I'm going to bring my other hand through and hit on the chest, right? Just, just relax, yeah? So, cover, cover, hit, right? Cover, hit, okay? Cover, hit, okay? If I do nothing, the punch will come into my center, okay? So I'm gonna cover and hit, yeah? If I'm, if I'm, my feet are just moving naturally. I'm not thinking I need to step. But I'm thinking that I need to get my shoulder forward in order to have some leverage, yeah, with the front hand. If I don't step at all, then I can still use this. Yeah, I can still use this on reaching because he's come within range, right? All right so you can not step and do this, or step and do this and get a little, little more penetration, right? So one more time, it's knee, sand. Go. Okay. You're going to take us to this position here. Yeah. We'll just do that in the first step. Okay. Uh, so maybe uh, uh, Shorty and Stephen will close down together. Shige, come over here. Okay. Come over here. Hi. Quick. Okay. So Shige, practice with me. Practice with me, Shige. Come over here. Renshin, eh? Nigite kochi, punch, good, and again, hi, punch, good, and again, hi, hi. Okay, come and this, man. Five, five, hi. Ah, across. Ah, so whenever you want to change your feet, now go the other way. The other way. One. One. Two. Yeah. Okay. Don't go too close. Keep your range. Okay. Put it full color. My hands touch it. Put it. What did you say? You had a good say. Sure, you know what did you say? Cool. It's more cool yesterday, man. Damn it. My hands touch. My hands touch. My hands touch. My hands touch. Kakuto, damn. Right? So. Oh, so, no kakuto. So, you get this. Five, go can you change side. So, my hands to show. One, two. If it was you and me, yeah? Is it that way? One, two. One. Yeah, so don't step. Miki step it in a good he does like it. So okay, good. We're gonna progress on from this. Hi. I guess we'll die much. Okay, hi. 
So good, good. So the kata, we know the kata, yeah, goes goes like this, right? One here and the elbow, yeah. So we're just gonna follow with the elbow, right? So I itch, knee. I'm literally gonna do what I do in the kata. Look, I'm just gonna put my elbow into my own hand. Okay, my hands against his chest. I'm just gonna put my elbow into my own hand, right? Very, very simple way of looking at this. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Just here, and then I'm going to be ready to come back. Right? So, uh, she gets this track. Hey, what do you thought? Could she get? Yeah. My to Mataku Onaji. So, at the Kiji o Jibun no Tani is the good time. So this is where we need to make sure we don't lose our naihan shidachi, right? Don't lose your naihan shidachi and turn it into zen kuzudachi, whatever, right? Yeah, you stepped in here, yeah? One, two. Yeah, don't lose your naihan shidachi, yeah? Yeah, it's very easy now to turn it into zen kuzudachi. Let's try and not to do that, right? So how do we do that? How do we not, how do we avoid, um, how do we avoid, yeah, doing this, right? This, yeah, we don't really want to do that, okay? Sink your weight down, yeah, sink your weight down and pivot from here as opposed to trying to push it from your leg. Pivot from here, yeah, so that you minimize. Pivot from here. So, uh, Fred, you are like standing in Zenku Tadachi now. No, 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 no. <laughs> Try not to go into Zenku Tadachi, right? So, I, I'm working. So, okay, let's say I'm, I'm pretending I'm working with you, yeah? Right. My first move is going to cover my center line, right? So that I don't get hit by that right one, yeah? Cover my center line. And then this is going to bring my leg forward because this one's coming through and I'm going to hit. Now, this should take me into a Naihanchi type position. Whether I am like square on perpendicular to you or at 45 degrees to you, I'll be stood in a Naihanchi Dachi. Yeah, so my knees are basically forward here, yeah? And then when I pivot, I pivot from here, right? And my, my base doesn't really move much. Yeah? I, so, I get that. <laughs> from from our zero, where our, you know, our, our center lines are facing each other, I may end up at 45 degrees to your center line, but still in Naihan Shidachi, or I may end up at 90 degrees to your zero line, but still at still in Naihan Shidachi. Right? Hey. I suspect if someone, if someone is coming into you, bear in mind that somebody is coming to you, right? They're in their punching range, yeah? So you're probably not, you're probably not going to and a long way this way, yeah? Because they're already like here, yeah? So this, yeah, about 45 degrees is probably the working angle you're gonna to get to, right? Bearing in mind that, you know, that's, they're, they're here, yeah? You will were, you were be stood on their front foot. At this point, if you wanted to get really good control, you would have stood on their front foot anyway. Right? And then right. when you hit them, boom, yeah, you will shear their ankle. So hey. think about that, that distance, right? Yeah, Shige, kata yo, kata, nani suru no? Kata, kata, think, what are you doing? One, two, kata. No, 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 Shige. Kata, no? ready? What do you do? We go one, two, sono mama. Boom, good, okay, that's it. Boom, good. That's good. Okay. Nice, okay. Now, let's look at this. See this one here? It's also nice one, eh? Ima. Tabun. Iwaku naru kara. Maybe. I don't know. Go back, 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 back. Kono, kono kankaku. Yonju goro, marega yu kono shimai. 
Yeah. When you step, she did. Yeah. Step 45. Yeah. yeah. Try to step. Look. Right. Trying to step on his foot. Yeah. Trying to step on his foot. Right. If, even if he punches in time. Right. Okay, try and step on his foot. Nice, good. Yeah. So, so he just did it. No answer. I see your friend, Miss Kurosan. あの、ムチミね。ね。わあ、無駄。あの、you don't Okay. Yeah, good. Good. All right. So, I'm not intending to go like go through the whole kata from, from A to Z in sequence, but um, um, you can see here there without sequence that you would look to take them down to the ground. Yeah. Um, and, and you're looking to, to, to work against the idea that they're going to be hitting you with the left and the right. Actually, it's the right and the left that we've been working, but you can work it the other way too, right? So that right comes in, yeah? The right comes in, I cover, I get in close, and I look to suppress, right? If this one, even if, even if it was a very quick right, left, boom, boom, right, left, yeah? By having my hand forward here, yeah, I can suppress that movement and then come back to here and hit, yeah? Or from here, here, hit, right? So this, this is the, the position that I'm looking for, right? You know, if it's a quick right, left, yeah? Here. And if I can find where his foot is without, you know, just instinctively every time, just try and find, find that foot, find that foot, find that foot, then there's a more chance that I'm going to be able to do some damage down there as well, or at least get a distraction, yeah? Interesting point about doing this, right? When you have the foot like Nekoashi, oh. yeah? Oh. Nekoashi. Uh. Another use for Nekoashi, right? I'm not particularly doing like a secret cue show here or anything. I'm just literally rolling his foot. Okay. Rolling his foot. But it actually works best if I'm on the inside. It actually works best if I'm on the inside. I do Nekoashi Dachi. Oh. Yeah. I can actually okay. take him down with it. Right. <laughs> but it will work on the outside too. Okay. So, so zooming back to when we did our basics and we're doing our Nekoashi Dachi stepping. Yeah. Stepping. Stepping. Right. Step on his foot. Roll his foot. Roll that foot, and it's really excruciatingly painful. Okay. Okay, we're going to zip forward to this bit here. Yeah, this bit here. Okay. Um, this is kind of, you know, it's like the backbone of the kata, right? This central piece. Yeah. Where then everything starts to come off of this. Yeah. Here, boom, yeah. Here, right? So this central frame. Yeah. Okay. So it's not particularly complicated. <clears throat> okay. Again, he's going to come forward with the right, but this time I'm going to come on the outside. All right, and from there, again, I'm going to try and find the foot. Yeah, come across and hit down. Yeah. Um, if he pulls his arm back, if he pulls his arm back, I'll come over and strike here. 
Yeah. If the other harm comes through, I'll look to tie up and here. He might raise his arm. And if he does that, then I can go and look to roll him this way. Okay. So the main thing is now I'm trying to, I'm, I found myself, either I chose or I found myself taking the outside line. So we've got an angle here. He's still basically punching to my center with his right hand. Yeah. I find myself on the outside line. All right, I want to move in, move in, and then hit down. This is my gate arm, but I strike, strike here, right? All right. If I if I got a good strike in, remember? Yeah, it's going to bring everything in on him down, right? Which means this is open to strike. But let's say that my strike didn't really affect him much, and he managed to get another hit in. Yeah, this is going to come to my face. I want to catch it, bring them over, and hit. And from this point, from this point, I can roll through his knee, or oh, I can I can stand through his knee. Okay, so <clears throat> let's just practice the the cover, right? So I'm not avoiding getting punched in the face in the first place. Yeah? So that punch is coming in. I'm just yeah, I'm doing this yeah? here, here. I'm covering everything, right? It's not a. This is this. You should be able to catch. Most anything that's coming in, in in this range, yeah, you want to just try and swipe it, swipe it across and catch it, and then come in behind it. Right? Punch coming in here. Yeah. Punch coming in here. Right? Punch coming in here. Right? Punch coming in here. You know, you cover the whole thing, yeah? One and here, right? And this here is then your um, kind of you transfer to and use as your buffer, right? Okay, Mazu a kono uke katane. Mata mune ni taksa kuru kara mune ni kai soto soto o ai puste suste ne kore o naki irete ko ne one one. Should we try? Let's try. Right. So, so, get on mother. So, get on mother. So, 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 so. Nine hands, that's you. Nine hands, that's you. Knees, knee. Nine hands, that's you. Try to get into nine hands, that's you. Nine hands, that's you. Oh, no, no, no. Cool, Janet, who's there? Cool. Cool. Punch coming, right? Swipe. Okay. This one there coming through. Yeah. This one coming down. And get an uchi. Yeah. Not bad, right? Good. Ah, don't do this, right? Kore yoko de, I'm going to animal catch the kinayo. Kore de, tate de, zenbu catch the kiryo. So he's, um, so. So what Shige is doing here is the thing we often see, actually, is when, when you're transitioning from kata movement to, to two-man drills, right? So Shige, Shige was doing this. He's trying to, trying, to, trying to catch laterally, right? He's trying to catch laterally. It's incredibly difficult to catch somebody else's punch at this, when, the, when both the, the punch and the uke are on the, on the lateral line, right? It's, it's incredibly difficult to catch that at speed, yeah? So use an uke, which is perpendicular to the strike so that you maximize the surface area that you've got that's likely to catch that uke, right? When people practice kaki, kaki uke, kaki uke, this one, this one, kaki uke, yeah, in kata, in kata, it looks beautiful, right? Because you come out sideways and then the other hand comes out sideways and you catch. So if you try and actually do that at speed to somebody's arm, like catch it sideways and then catch it sideways, it's really hard to do. Yeah, not to mention you probably break your thumbs on the way through. So at speed, what you need to do is work from a perpendicular position. And then once you connect, then wrap into the grip, right? So this, this position is the end of the movement, right? The beginning of the movement here, right? Perpendicular, yeah? This is why we have shooto, shooto positions, yeah? Yeah. 
getting back to this Nihanshi movement, uh, think about protecting here, right? Now, this hand is the one that's now engaged, and this hand, you've hit, unless they've gone in and grabbed your hand, this one will be relatively free. Free to, if they try and punch with the other hand, to grab that one and to wrap, yeah? Or if their head has already come down, even free to come out, cover, so you can get a Nihanshi style sideways punch in. Yeah? yeah. Try and work now this, everything you're doing now, try and work it from Nihanshi Dachi. Yeah? So you're here. Now I'm in Nihanshi Dachi. Yeah? Strike, yeah. If I clear here, yeah. Try to protect that Nihanshi Dachi rather than switching into Zenkutsu. Okay? Rather than switching into Zenkutsu. Good. Jashike, Migi dashte kara, hidari mo dashte mi. Mazu yukuri. Mazu yukuri ne, Migi kara. Ah, Shimoku san, hayame ni. Gotta move. Quick. Uke, change. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ja, one, one time. Migi kara. Shige, shizen dashi kara. Then touch you, then touch you. Punch. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. That's good. Yes. I mean, but sorry. Too hot. More short. Irimi. Irimi no renshu desu. Irimi no renshu. Nice. Yes. Like it. Oh, we'll be ready. Ah. Put that to the water, Gusi. No. <laughs> Work here. Put it. Put it. Put it. Yeah. Put it. Yeah. Pull. Yeah. Don't. Don't do this. I don't know. Put it. Uke So. What? Go. Do not yoni. Put it all. Go. Don't go this way. Go. Go. They don't go this way. Punch coming, right? Punch coming. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do sideways, punch coming. I, more time. It takes me more time, right? Punch coming. Okay. From the cat. Look at it. Hmm. Cool. Cool. Punch Kuru Kara? Yeah, okay. Yeah. More choto, call it take it to myself. Let's do it again. One more time. Okay. Well, good, okay. Now, now. Kore mo strike or the kara, kore mo ju the show. Punch Kuru Kara. Kore de. Catch. Catch. Fall down. Fall down. This one, now you, bunch, my hunch bunch. Okay, let's take a look at one variation, um, which can happen, um, and particularly it's facilitated if you have a good Nihanshi Dachi, right? Um, so, uh, same sequence, yeah? Punch coming in, yeah? Move in, strike, right? Um, from here, yeah? And we've got a big strong punch coming in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push underneath it, right? Push underneath it, roll to here. And then I'm going to get my throw here. Yeah? So, punch coming in here. 
All right. Underneath it, get my <laughs> get my throw. Okay. If I have my Nahanshi position at my table, I have my base to do that kind of thing. If I try to do that from um, Zinkutsu, I don't think it's going to work so well. I can try it, but I don't think it's going to work so well. So, yeah. Underneath, right? From there, strike. Yeah. Take the leg and throw. Right? But I, I want to use his momentum. Yeah. So I want to use his momentum to pivot him over me. Obviously, I have the body strength to be able to throw him around without his momentum, but that's not the objective of this. Yeah. Um, uh, we're going to do it more so with you, Nia, Right. Punch. Yeah. I want to use his momentum, right? That he gives me and just put him, pivot him over this, over this pivot point, right? So he should literally like pull over, just fall over this point. Yeah. 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 Okay. So just one more time. All right. Punch coming in. Second punch coming in. Okay. Down in my. I was a little bit like Jigotai then, but basically the idea is I'm down in my, my very stable base there. Yeah? Okay. Um. <laughs> We're kind of running out of time here. Uh, apologies. Um, do you guys have any questions you'd like to ask? About any of the techniques that we've seen so far? Not today, Sensei. Thank you for excellent class. Okay. It's really difficult not to really twist the hips and all that kind of stuff. It's difficult yeah. not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to stay here and use the top. <laughs> yeah. It's, if you've been very used, if you've been very used to um, pivoting your entire pelvis, right, to be able to turn from this position to this position, if, if that's what you've trained, then that's what you're going to do. But that's not what Naihanshikata does. There is no Zenkutsudachi in Naihanshikata, right? Um, now, there are variations in Naihanshikata. There are a few different flavors. I mean, there is, there is one where it's done in Jigotai, for example. An unusual one, but it's there. Probably this is the older, more original stance, to be honest. Yeah? This is actually probably a slightly more modern variation. However, Naihanshi pretty much works from the idea that you have this solid firm base and that the hips are not twisting into a sort of a zenkutsu type position. Right? So, um, so where do you twist from? Well, it's not from here, it's from here. Yeah, here. Right? Yeah. And you can feel the stretch and the tension across essentially the where the diaphragm is, right? Really, and it's that knee that you're trying to to secure, right? So that you've got, just so you've got the awareness of where, where it is, right? And you have that feeling, yeah? So if you have the feeling, then it becomes more natural.